What's up guys, Sai here from Training with Sai. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to use MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal is a food tracking app that allows you to count calories um, by plugging it in. You can scan barcodes on foods and uh, it'll bring up the nutritional info for those foods in order for you to plug it in. I like using this app. I use it every single day to track all of my macros. It's so helpful. and. Um, It's very easy to use, although some of my clients are having trouble learning how to go about the app. So we're going to go over how to use it, how I like to use it, and how to plug in the foods that you're eating every day. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first we have to download our MyFitnessPal app. Once you do that, we're going to click into that, and you're going to see this. So right now I have my calories already set. Um, my Fitness Pal does give you an option and to put in your weight and such. So I'm going to go into the options over here and goals. So my current weight right now is actually 178. I really don't care about that part. You can plug that in if you want. But um, what I'm more concerned with is choosing the calorie and macronutrient goals. So as you'll see, um, right now I'm on 3,000 calories. Um, and my ratios are set to how I want them. So either figure that out for yourself. Um, it's kind of like a trial and error. If you have someone dieting you or if you're dieting with me, um, I'll be providing you with the ratios and the calories. But anyways, let's move on back to the main menu. So as you can see, our goal for today is 3,000 calories. Um, so far, I've eaten 626 calories. And I don't plug in exercise. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to plug anything in. We're just going to eat our 3,000 calories. If you do plug in exercise, it's going to add calories back into your remaining calories. And we just don't want that at all. We're just going to eat our daily 3,000 calories. Well, I'm going to eat my daily 3,000 calories. So when I go to plug in, I'm going to press plus, And it's going to give you an option over here. I don't care about weight, exercise, food. Well, I do care about food, but I don't care about water or status. So I'm going to go to plug in for food. And I like to, uh, let me adjust this really quick. All right, there we go. I like to plug everything into snacks, um, mainly because if I go to recents, these are all my recent snacks that I've had. So if I eat the same thing, like, chicken burrito bowl, it's there, I plug it in, and we're happy. However, if you don't have any recent foods added, which you shouldn't because it's probably your first time using this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into search for food. I'm actually going to press multi-add, and let's say my meal I'm going to have is I've weighed out 6 ounces of chicken, and I've weighed out 100 grams of rice. That's going to be my meal. So in order to plug that in, I'm going to look for chicken breast. I'm going to search. And you'll see a bunch of different options coming up. All right. We're going to just look for regular chicken breast. And you'll see some say one breast, three and a half ounces, four ounces, 100 grams. Since it's a protein, I always tell people to just measure proteins in ounces so a quick search would be just chicken breast and then add OZ or ounces that's gonna bring up a search for chicken breast in ounces so let's just say generic chicken breast eight ounces alright and here's the cool thing it says number of servings it's one serving and a serving size is eight ounces it displays the carbs, the fats, and the proteins, and the calories all for us. So let's say I only did six ounces, right? So how do I do that? I simply click on here, and it's going to give you an option. You can change a serving to either eight ounces, one ounce, or one gram. So since we're measuring in ounces, we're going to do one ounce here. And then one serving is one ounce to make things easier. So I'm going to do six servings. So that's going to bring up six ounces, and it's going to calculate everything for me right there. So I'm going to add that to my food, 
And since it's on multi-select, I'm also going to add the rice in. So just white rice, oops. And let's say G or for grams. Um, Oh, here's the other cool thing. So sometimes rice is measured in uncooked. So we're going to put white rice cooked in grams. So let's just say cooked white rice. That's a cup. So we want to look for grams. Here we go. Rice, white, long grain, grams. So again, I'm looking for 100 grams to input. And this is per serving of 28 grams. So we're going to change that to one gram and plug in a hundred. And there we go. That's the macros for a hundred grams of white rice. So I'm going to plug that in. That's going to calculate to my whole day. So, so far that's added another 300 calories. All right. Now the cool thing about this is you can go all the way down and you see nutrition. This shows me how much food I've eaten throughout the day. This is what I love about this app because it allows me to customize my diet and eat whatever I want as long as I hit my goal of 188 grams of protein, 413 grams of carbs, and 67 grams of fat. So, so far I've had only 89 grams of protein, 127 grams of car 25 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fat. And it's 122. So I have tons of food left over for the day. I'm pretty good at this stuff, so I know what I can eat and what I can fit into it. It's just gonna take time to know what foods you can add. You have to learn what foods are proteins, what foods are carbs, what foods are fats. And once you get all that down, it pretty much gets really simple. Again, if, I, if I've written a diet for you, I usually give you a guideline on what foods to eat um, to help you reach those goals. But this just makes life so much easier, um, especially if you're good at math and just good at looking food labels. Um, oh yes, the scan option. If you go to add foods and you press this scan button right here, all right, you can scan any barcode and it'll bring up the nutrition facts for that food, which is pretty cool. Um, that's about it. That's how we use my fitness pal and that's why I love it. I hope it was easy for you guys to understand. So that's about it guys. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, in the video, well, in the portion of it, I had brought up Burrito Bowl. A cool thing about my fitness pal is it's kind of like a Google search bar. Um, so if you have some options like you didn't have rice or you didn't have cheese with that burrito bowl, you would simply just search that, put in like no cheese or no rice. Um, another thing is make sure you just check a few different options and compare. You're not going to hit the macros point on, especially when you're eating out. Just get as close as you can um, to the macros. And if you don't hit it on point, like I said, it's no big deal. Just try not to go above and beyond. And consume another 500 calories. Um, that's about it. I hope you guys liked the video. Please leave some comments below. Uh, throw me a like and leave some comments or suggestions on videos I should make in the future and I would love to get to them. Thank you guys for watching and we out.